I'll be educated now because I've been to Princeton. Yeah, Princeton, British Columbia, Canada. We're loving this country. Through the static of the stations, we turn it up till we find a song that we really love. It's a twang thing cruising through the south. A little George Jones, and we're moving now. Ain't nothing out here that's gonna bother us. So just let these wheels roll, and we'll burn it up. Starting on a red dirt road to the open highway, passing those trucks on the interstate. Through the Mississippi mud to the Georgia line Shifting it, kicking it, enjoying life Just me and my baby We're loving this country So let the banjo play Rocky Top Don't turn it off, we ain't gonna stop Starting on a red dirt road to the open highway let country play in the USA Yeah, just me and my baby Well, hello, Starting to the RV fans. Thank to you the open for tuning in. And and today we're going to talk about kind of the esoteric, spiritual side of the RV full-time lifestyle. Because I believe, uh, while I'm not a religious person, I definitely believe that there's a lot of parallels of uh, taking things on faith when you're going to live in an RV full time. Now, in the last year that I've been full time on the road and um, even here in Canada, I've been in almost every major city in the West Coast with the exception of San Diego and San Francisco. But yet, when I began this journey, I was always afraid of uh, what could happen either while I'm traveling or while I'm living in my RV full time. You know, simple things like, uh, will I get robbed? Uh, will I have a breakdown in Los Angeles and have a problem? Will I have a breakdown in the middle of nowhere and even have a bigger problem? But none of these things have come to pass. So a lot of things are about faith and faith in your rig, faith in your ability to overcome problems. Life is sometimes about taking a leap of faith and just believing that things are going to work out, whether that's a belief in a higher power or yourself or uh, all gods or no gods, as, as Canadians say, um, it's, it's kind of still about faith. On that vein, you know, YouTubers, it's about commandments. Like, for example, we don't really have 10 commandments, but uh, I'm going to start us off with an obvious one. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's RV. Now, that beautiful, beautiful Class A, B, or C next door to you could be gorgeous, but that owner's got 20 years of payments ahead. Same with that, uh, that adultery one. You know, that always comes up because, uh, you know, humans love that, uh, the, the, the tawdriness of the uh, sinful, forbidden fruits. Don't stop anybody in your RV park, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they're married. I kind of like to put it this way. Don't shit where you eat. You know what I'm saying? Thou shalt not steal a parking space that don't freaking belong to you in front of my RV with your RV so I can't get out. Don't block me in. Thou shalt not have any other goods before me. Now, what I mean by goods is uh, RV goods because uh, you're a full-time RVer now, which means um, you got a choice between buying consumer goods that are from a uh, brick and stick person or RV goods you're going with the RV goods. You see where I'm going with that there, folks? So those are just a few of the commandments that I've just cooked up. You cook up a few of your own down below, like don't dump thy turds on the street. Yeah, I think even Moses would have thought that would have been reasonable. So a little update on the keep your wheels on the ground stickers. Um, the first shipment has been sent out to the first little batch of people that order them. Ken, Daniel, Jane, and Bruno, thank you so much. These are available for $7, including shipping anywhere in the world. And in the meantime, stay safe, keep your wheels in the ground, and see you soon. We live in this country.